Trisha the Cane Cars here. So yesterday we did this in class, right? We kind of made uh, this and we did the dabbing method that I showed you. Well, now this is dry and I want to show you how we can just build more colors on top. So again, I'm doing the same thing. I have this yellow and now that it's dry, it's a little bit easier for me to put the colors on top, but I wanted to show you what happens because we did wet on wet. Now you need to see what it looks like wet on dry. So that means that the canvas underneath is dry, but we're putting wet on top, wet paint on top. And you can see we're getting a little bit more of a contrast there. I'm gonna take some light green. Okay, and I'm gonna take some white with my light green. You'll see we can build it up much more now that it's dry. So wet and wet just helps things blend. When you do it dry and you're putting wet paint on top, you'll have a little bit more of a contrast. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make these like blue flowers, say for an example, you could go with a little bit of blue and some white, and you could start putting blue on top, and you would start seeing that pop out. Or you could go with a very, very dark blue if you wanted to. Or you could even have red flowers on top. You could make the, any color that you want. But what I would do is I would practice first just trying to do it wet on wet and see how the blending goes for you and then try it when the canvas is dry and then you're putting wet paint on top. And you'll see the difference about what I mean, how deeper the contrast could be. Now yesterday, if I would have put this blue on top, it wouldn't really work. You wouldn't be able to see it. Okay, but today you can see it a little bit more because it's not as wet. I'm putting it in the areas I didn't put my brush today. And you can see I can start building that up. Okay, and this is a fast way that if you're doing these small little flowers, I already showed you how to do a rose, but if you just wanted to start a garden and you wanted to start with these little flowers, this would kind of be your background area of color. And then you can build up that more. When this dries, we'll put more contrast on it, and then we'll start putting leaves on it. And it will start looking more like flowers. Right, but you still want to leave some of that green underneath. So this would be step two um, to making these really small flowers. And I'll show you how we're going to bring out uh, the flowers and make them a little bit more detailed. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and work with the shadows with the small brush. But this would be the second step. Okay. So last last uh, the day before we had wet on wet. This is wet on dry. I'm going to let this dry again, then I'm going to come back with my small brush and I'm going to start detailing these flowers. Okay, see you soon. Have a good weekend.